Welcome to Harrow College's virtual open day. Um, my name's Lucy and I'm hosting the session today uh, just to give you a flavour of college life at Harrow and so you can find out a little bit more about what we have to offer. If you haven't registered for the open days uh, previously, then do please fill out our registration form that is on our open day page on the website. Uh, that way we can send you a recording of today's session and also keep you updated with information about the college. And if you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat box today, pop your questions uh, in there and then we'll aim to answer all of those at the end of the session. Just to let you know that today we have a couple of our communication support worker colleagues, Debbie and Shaney, who are with us today, and they are going to uh, offer BSL interpretation. So if you do want to uh, view them, please pin them to your screen and they'll pop that message into the chat box as well to remind you. If you are attending any of our other sessions, uh, curriculum sessions, then I do hope you enjoy those and also do check our website pages so you can find more information about those sessions and obviously more content on the college uh, and what we have to offer. So just before we get started, an intro from Pat Carvello, our principal. Welcome to Harrow College. My name is Pat Carvello and I'm principal here at Harrow College and Deputy CEO for the HCUC College Group. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to our virtual um, open day events. Um, my, I'm only sad that I'm not able to welcome you in person to either our Harrow and the Hill campus or indeed our Harrow Weald campus. But these are the times that we are in. So for the next 20 minutes, I do hope that you get a flavour of our fantastic facilities, the expertise of our staff, so you get a real feel for college life and indeed for the support that we provide our students in and outside of the classroom. The safety of our students is, is our number one priority and although we have been learning new ways to do things this year, our students and staff have been absolutely brilliant in responding to and continuing learning. It is this dedication that makes us the number one college in London for our 16 to 18 achievements. High quality teaching and learning is at the heart of what we do. And we work hard to ensure students gain the skills and knowledge they need to prepare for a fantastic future. Whether that is progressing to a higher level course at the college, studying one of our higher education programmes, getting an apprenticeship or going to university or into the workplace. Our staff are here to support you. Importantly, we place an emphasis on you gaining the wider skills that employers need. These essential work skills, together with the experience of being part of a diverse learner community that the college provides, means that you, are, you will emerge equipped with the right qualification and skills for the world of work and indeed for your future career plans. So please, Enjoy your open day sessions, and I hope you find the right course for you. But don't forget, we're here to help. And we're, you know, if you want to be in contact with us for further information and advice, um, then we would love to hear from you. And of course, when it is safe to do so, we, would, we look forward to seeing you on site, where you get the opportunity to see for yourself the fantastic facilities that we have here at Harrow College. Thank you. So just going to give you a bit of a flavour of the college um, uh, and capture some of the key points uh, and the information that hopefully will give you a little bit more detail about what we have to offer. So as Pat mentioned, we have high quality teaching and learning. We're really proud to uh, be for the second year running London's most successful college for 16 to 18 year olds. This is from the Department for Education's most recent achievement data. And as I said, this is the second year running and we're really, really pleased to confirm that again. And just another couple of reasons why we're number one. Aside from that achievement, we also had the first value added score for our A-levels in London and also we were ninth nationally. And our progress results for our English uh, and maths provision were first and third. Our students have been really satisfied with the college and what they get offered on their courses and out of the classroom. And they ranked as number one for student satisfaction in the FE Choices survey in London. And above all, as you will see as we go through today, our students do go on to do great things. 
We also have a number of new and innovative programmes um, offered across the HCUC group. Harrow College and Uxbridge College are part of HCUC and across those campuses we have got the West London Institute of Technology offering high level STEM qualifications in digital construction and engineering. We also are proud to be launching the T-Levels. From this September, we started with some T-Levels and we have some new T-Level programmes coming on board from September 2021. So you could be uh, one of a few people across the country who are taking part in the T-Level qualifications. And we do have a, a separate virtual open day for those coming up um, in early December. And we are also proud to be part of the Mayor's Construction Academy. And you'll see some of the examples of the construction um, facilities as we go through. Um, the last visiting report from Ofsted said very complimentary things. Our teachers have high expectations for the learners and they really want them to learn. And also our learners and apprentices were really positive about their experience and they really enjoy coming to both Harrow College and Uxbridge College. So a little bit more about our courses. They're really designed to prepare you for that fantastic future and to help you progress. Whether you're looking, as Pat mentioned earlier, to go on to higher education at university, you might be looking to start an apprenticeship or go straight into the world of work. Whatever your progression routes are, we can help you get there. And our programmes do have clear progression paths so that you can keep your options open. As you'll see from the picture, you're in the middle as the student. You'll have your main qualification and alongside that, some English and maths, depending on your skill level. And we also like to give you those opportunities to enrich your curriculum, things like employment skills, maybe some work experience, a placement, finding out what it's like to be in industry, along with other enrichment and progression support, as I mentioned. And there are lots of subjects available. If you head to the website, you can find out a little bit more about what we have to offer, but that just gives you a flavour of some of the things that you can do. And we do have curriculum sessions for most of these areas available virtually so that you can find out a little bit more about those areas. As I mentioned earlier, we do like to give you that enrichment. So we, we, we have great links with employers giving you opportunities for work experience. Just recently, we've had over 150 volunteers work with our students in the last couple of weeks to give them a flavor of what it's like to be in industry. And of course, this year, a lot of that has been virtual, but in the past, students have gone out to, to visits and trips as well. We want you to enhance what you learn in the classroom by giving you that additional experience. And above all, we do want you to leave college with the skills and the knowledge that you need to succeed. And we are here to support you. And there's a little bit more about support as we go through today, but we want to encourage you to work hard and really achieve your goals. So a little bit about our expert staff. Our staff come really highly qualified and they've got a wealth of experience that they brought from industry. So they will be able to pass that on to you and give you the knowledge and the skills that you need to prepare you for your next steps. If you're planning to go on a, onto one of our vocational courses, you'll learn what industry is all about and you'll get those skills and knowledge, as I said, and some tips and tricks to help you go forward. And if you're looking to go to a high level course or university, we have fantastic staff to help you prepare yourself, put those uh, university applications in and just get the information you need to progress. And here's just a couple of our staff in action. And we do have fantastic facilities. We're really proud of the work that has gone on on both of our campuses to update um, and really give um, our students an opportunity to, to study in some excellent facilities. They're industry standard. We have well-equipped classrooms, workshops, studios, specialist workspaces. Just going to give you an example of some of those now, some of our new classrooms. And again, students are working on equipment and salon standard for hair and beauty. This is our health and care suite, computer labs, construction, classrooms are high spec, and we have labs and lots of other specialist uh, technology and equipment within the classrooms themselves. And as I said, we've spent an awful lot of money updating um, our provisions so that our campuses at Harrow on the Hill and Harrow Weald have really got some additional facilities and uh, some improved and refurbished facilities as well. And this September, we opened a brand new reception canteen and a digital skills center at Harrow on the Hill. And if you want to have a little look at that, there's some drone footage of that on our YouTube channel. So we know that college isn't just about the study. You want to be able to have fun and learn some extra skills and take part in activities outside the classroom. It's all about that college experience. 
So we encourage you to get involved in making the most of that. As I said, activities can include all sorts of things. We'll kickstart the year with a freshers fair so that you get to find out more about college life, what's available to you to help with your studies and also some of the activities and social events that you can get involved in. This year we had a virtual event, but hopefully soon we'll be back on site welcoming uh, visitors and guests in to give you a flavour of some of the services they offer that you might be interested in. And you can also take part in lots of other activities. We have a volunteering opportunities available, fundraising, and you can also join in with student social events and a range of free sports activities as well. This uh, in the past couple of years, that's included basketball, cricket, street dance, but there's always lots of uh, things that you can get uh, involved in and take part in. And we're also really interested in your views. We like to find out what students think so that we can help to progress and develop the college community. So we encourage you to share your views and obviously help us shape uh, college life. And we do that through the student union. And if you're interested in student governance, you could become a tutor rep or perhaps um, apply to be student governor as well. And then pass on the views of your students, your classmates and your peers and share those with staff. So again, we can keep improving um, our college offer for students. So just on that note, just going to hand over to Tracy just to give a little bit of information about support for students. Hello, my name is Tracy. I'm the manager for the support of deaf and hard of hearing students in the college. My colleague, uh, Karen, is the manager for additional learning support for students who have physical, mental health, sensory impairment and or learning disabilities. We have great success rates for our supported learners and our unit for deaf and hard of hearing students is the largest in London. We have a resident pool of learning support assistants and communicators to support you according to your area of need. The most important thing for you to do is to declare any educational need you have on your application form. This will mean that when you're invited to interview, we can be there to discuss your needs, offer advice and guidance, and support you through that interview, enrolment, and then during your course. If you have an education, health and care plan, please let your local authority know that you're applying to the college. This doesn't mean that you have to limit your choice to one college. It will just let that local authority know that they need to send your paperwork to us for consultation. Our aim at communication support and additional learning support is to enable all supported learners equal opportunities to achieve your goals and to access all areas of college life and progress to your chosen destination, whether that's university or employment. Remember, we cannot provide support if we are not told that you have a need. So please make sure that you declare it on your application form. And we look forward to seeing you on future courses. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. I'm now just going to hand over to my colleague Lee, who's going to give a little bit more information about the student services team and the support we can offer. Hi everybody, uh, I'm Lee Chanaway and I'm head of student services and the college's designated safeguarding lead. Um, you know, we look forward to welcoming to you to the college uh, in September. Uh, I really wanted to make sure that you're aware of all of the services that we're able to uh, provide within the college to make sure that, that those of you that are on course feel well supported and able to succeed. Um, Tracy has already spoke around those with learning difficulties and disabilities and the support we can put in place to uh, ensure people are successful. But our support goes wider than that. You know, we are aware that throughout the year, people may require personal or welfare support. Uh, maybe, you know, with, with COVID and lockdown previously, people's anxiety levels may be high or they may experience something that causes them a trauma. You know, we're here with specialist staff, including mental health student support officers, close work with local agencies to make sure that we can provide the right support for students uh, as and when it's needed. We also can offer financial support. We have access to a range of bursaries for our students, access to free school meals for those that require that. And we also have uh, a range of other financial support for things like adults who um, maybe needing help with childcare. So, you know, when you come in, we can really look to provide that support for you. We have an independent careers advice and guidance team. So for those of you who are 
not sure of your next steps or or what you want to do or where you want to go but actually like the idea of coming to Harrow College you know we have a careers team that are there to support you uh, and offer that independent careers advice and for those of you once on program and, and joining the college then we're very dedicated to ensure that we can help you map out your, pro your progression and your future career path and whether that be into higher level study university higher level apprenticeship or into employability we're there to help you to make those decisions. So choosing the right course for you. You can move on there, Lucy. Thank you very much. So Harrow College offers a wide range of options for all of its school leavers. Um, and that's regardless of what you come in with and how you do at school. So if you're, you, you know, your GCSE results aren't quite at the level of what you wanted, or they haven't gone quite as well, you know, we have those level courses from entry level courses through to A-levels and BTEC extended diplomas for those students wanting to go into university. And we have courses in a range of subjects. We have apprenticeships for those really wanting to, to be work ready. We have, you know, vocational areas uh, in, in areas maybe like sport, health and social care, technical courses in, in aspects like construction, uh, hair and beauty. And, and some academic courses as well, like A-level science um, from there. So our, our breadth and our wide range number of courses that we offer uh, are, are really substantive. So, you know, hang on after this and book into one of those sessions or go to the Harrow College website to have a look at what we actually do. If you're not quite sure about what you want to do and you do want that independent careers advice, then, you know, please do have a chat of our careers team. We have a generic email address, which can be seen there, hc-careers at hcuc.ac.uk. Or please feel free to ring our main college switchboard on 0208 909 6000 and ask for the careers team. And they will happily make an appointment to see you um, from there. But otherwise, you know, do request for us to send you a prospectus or do go on to our website for more information about the college and the range of courses that we have and you know we're there to help you make those decisions that's great thank you lee so you've heard a little bit about what we have to offer obviously there's a lot more information on the website uh, and also uh, in the full-time prospectus but just a little bit of information about how to apply if you know you're ready to apply, you can do that already. The courses are open for online applications. So just head to www.harrow.ac.uk and you can find the course information that you need. You select the course you're interested in. And if you want to apply, you just click that orange button and that will take you through to the online application form. You can create an account or log back in already um, if you have one that you've completed before, fill out your details, and then you can update your information as you go. You can log back in using the login button on our website. And completing the form doesn't take long at all. So after you've submitted it, we'll be in contact to explain those next steps. Normally we would invite you for an interview that might be telephone, it might be face-to-face -face depending um, on the circumstances. And then normally you'd be made a, an offer which could be based on any exams that you might be sitting. But don't worry, we're here to help you uh, every step of the way with that process. And you've heard from colleagues earlier today um, about how you can also access support if you need that. We also have a paper-based form which will be uh, available on the website uh, and also at the back of the full-time prospectus. So you can always fill it out and post it back to us. So just to give you a, a flavour today uh, of what Harrow College has to offer, we really encourage you to find out about your options. We say get informed and get yourself involved. Education is about opportunity. And as you've heard today, there's a range of subject areas available and also a number of different levels. So it doesn't matter what starting point you're at, come and have a chat with us and we can help to get you onto the right course. Thank you for joining us. Just going to open out to see if we have any questions in the chat. Just one question coming through about uh, how, um, how to uh, apply, is there a deadline? We always recommend that you um, apply as soon as you can, just so that you can get yourself sorted. Obviously, there are lots of curriculum sessions available, so you can have a look um, at what we have to offer and head on to our website. If you've missed any of those sessions, you will be able to find some links for those as well. 
And our full-time prospectus will be available online soon. And we'll also have hard copies that we can send out to you um, as well. So you can find a little bit more information ab about those courses. Um, as I said, if you are ready, you can apply now. So, so don't hesitate if you want to get that application in, we're happy to hear from you. And we do have some sessions on T-levels, which are those new qualifications that include some work uh, placements, a significant work placement alongside your study, and they are offered at level three. And we also have some level two programs to prepare you for T-levels as well. So if you want to find out more about those, you can do at the curriculum session, head to the website and you can sign up for that. And we also have some information about our, our apprenticeships as well. So if you're looking for uh, a role that uh, involves having a, a job based in the workplace alongside studying, an apprenticeship might be the answer for you. So do join us again. We have a, a curriculum session available. Both the T-levels and the apprenticeship sessions are available on the 2nd of December. So do check the website for more details. And also our West London Institute of Technology offering our higher level qualifications. Again, on the 2nd of December, you can find out more about that as well. So just to to answer another question that's just come through just about the deadline for applications. As I say, we just encourage students to get their applications in as soon as they can. There is no set deadline, but it is always um, a really good idea to get that in so that you can start planning for your future. If you're offered um, a, a conditional offer based on some exam results, we want to make sure that you're heading uh, in the right direction and preparing yourself for that. So just get those applications in as soon as possible. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you can't look at uh, other, other options and you, if you change your mind, that's okay. If you apply to us for one course and you change your mind for another, that's fine. You just talk to us about it and we'll help you through that as well. And if you filled out the application, um, somebody's just asking, when do you know if you've been accepted? So after you've filled out the application form, we will be in touch with you to let you know the next steps. So as I mentioned earlier, normally that you would be offered an interview and then uh, a conditional offer uh, or an unconditional offer, depending on your circumstances. So we will be in touch. So if you have applied already and somebody hasn't been in touch, they will be very soon because we do, we do try to uh, get in touch very quickly on that. And just another question that's come in about, can I apply after the 31st of December? Yes, absolutely, you, you can if you're, if you're looking at various options. And if you want to apply for more than one course, you can do that as well on our website. So you can add those courses to your basket and apply at once. So if you're looking at different options, you're not quite sure, you can apply for, for more than one. But again, just to remind you, as Lee said, if you aren't sure quite what course you want or you're not sure what level, then have a chat to our careers team because they'll be able to give you some advice on that as well. So I think that's all the questions that have come in. So I'd just like to thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, and again, just a reminder, if there's anything that you need, do get in touch with us. You can contact us on inquiries at hcuc.harrow.ac.uk. Give us a call on 020 8909 6000 or head to the website for more information at www.harrow.ac.uk. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>